we have as humans we have something that no animal has and what it's called is imagination and what imagination allows you to do it allows you to see it before it actually happens what I mean by that is I need you to go 10 years into the future, 20 years into the future, and I need you to see yourself actually becoming the person you want to be. You got to live in the forward. Block the whole world out. Put some music on, some classical music, right? The piano if you need to. I don't know what you need to listen to, but I want you to take 30 minutes. Go in the closet. Go in the basement. Go, go to the library. Go, go into a room alone. And I want you to take 30 minutes, and I want you to imagine. I want you to take 30 minutes, and I want you to live in the forward. See, the problem is I'm talking to some of you guys. The problem that you're having is you're living in the future, and you're living in the present. And you keep talking about the mistakes. You keep talking about the past. You keep talking about your trials. You keep talking about your situation. And I want you to know that everybody that's ever been great, everybody has had an obstacle to overcome. They've had a barrier that they had to climb. There is no individual who's ever reached success and he didn't have to go through an obstacle or a barrier to get there. I need you to live in the future. I need you to go in your future every single day. I need you to go in your future. I need you to see what you're going to be. Listen to me. What you are to be, you are now becoming. And so you got to use your imagination. And your imagination has to take you beyond the pain. Your imagination has to take you beyond the trouble. Your imagination has to take you to the next level. We had to see ourselves there long before it happened. The second tool is we got to embrace faith. I have to have faith to believe that the thing that I see 10 years from now, 20 years from now, that one day that thing is going to be successful. When I was homeless at 16, I could have quit. When I was homeless, I could have given up. There are many a days that I thought about committing suicide, but I said to myself, E, just keep imagining, keep thinking, keep seeing, keep seeing what you're not now, but what you're going to be. Sometimes it's going to be hard. Sometimes you're going to look all around you and nowhere do you see success. Nowhere do you see anything that remotely looks like success, but you got to embrace Number two, you got to embrace the faith. You got to believe that although it's not happening right now, if you keep pressing, if you keep pushing, guess what? One day is going to be your day. That's right. I need you to say that with me. One day is going to be your day. Embrace the faith. You got to be able to see it and believe it that when there's no, no evidence around you, when there's no evidence around you, when you got pain in your life, when, you, when, you, when you're tired, you feel like giving up, and you feel like quit. When you look around you, you don't see anything that looks anything like success. You got to embrace the faith and believe that one day going to be my day. But one day can't be your day if you give up. If you quit, if you quit, no day will ever be your day. There will never be a point in your time in your life where it's the right time to do a great thing if you're waiting for that perfect perfect moment that perfect timing is not going to happen you know what you have to do you have to create the perfect time and the perfect opportunity and the perfect situation so that a lot of people become comfortable they stop growing, they stop wanting anything, they, they become satisfied. People getting ready to go to jobs that they don't like, jobs that are making them sick. You see, when you're not pursuing your goal, you are literally committing spiritual suicide. When you have some goal out here that you're stretching for and reaching for, that takes you out of your comfort zone, you'll find out some talents and abilities you have that you didn't know you have. When the messenger of misery visits you, what are you going to do? What will keep you in the game? There are things that you think you'll never need to know, that you may only need to know one time in your life, but that could save your life because you had that knowledge. Unless you attempt to do something beyond that which you've already mastered, you will never grow. What is it that you looked at at 